My precious child, I want you to pause right now and truly hear me. I am so proud of you. Not just for your accomplishments or your victories, but for who you are. The very essence of your being that I carefully crafted with my own hands. I see how you strive to honor me even when the world pulls at you from every direction. I witness your heart's desire to serve, to love, to make a difference, even when you feel inadequate or unsure. Do you know how it moves my heart when you choose faith over fear? When you push through your doubts to trust in my promises? When you extend kindness to others even in your own seasons of struggle? These moments may seem small to you, but they echo through the halls of heaven. Each act of faith, each choice to trust, each step forward in obedience brings joy to my heart. My beloved, I see the battles you fought in secret. I've collected every tear you've shed in my bottle. I've heard every whispered prayer, felt every moment of uncertainty, and held you through every storm. Though others may not see or understand your journey, I do. I see your resilience, your determination, your unwavering spirit. Even when you feel weak, especially when you feel weak, for it is then that my strength shines most brilliantly through you. Let me remind you of who you are in me. You are not merely surviving, you are destined to thrive. You are not just getting by. You are positioned for supernatural breakthrough. The challenges you faced haven't destroyed you, they've prepared you. Every trial has been a training ground, every setback a setup for a divine comeback. I have been meticulously orchestrating circumstances, aligning possibilities, and preparing blessings that will leave you in awe of my faithfulness. Listen closely, my child. What you see as delays have been my protection. What you've perceived as denials have been my direction. The doors that closed were not rejections, they were my redirections toward something far greater than you could have imagined. I am not a God who withholds good things from my children. I am a God who delights in surprising them with more than they could ask or think. Even now, as you read these words, I am working in ways you cannot see. I am moving mountains before you arrive at them. I am making crooked paths straight. I am going ahead of you to prepare places of abundance, opportunities for advancement, and moments of breakthrough that will testify to my goodness. My child, pause the video and click the like button. The dreams I've planted in your heart. Yes, those dreams that seem too big, too impossible. I placed them there for a purpose. They are not too big. They are merely matched to the magnitude of my power. You've been faithful with little. Now I am preparing you for much. You've sown in tears. You will reap in joy. You've planted seeds of faith in difficult soil. Watch as I bring forth a harvest that defies natural expectations. The sacrifices you've made in secret, the prayers you've prayed when no one was watching, the faith you've maintained through the darkest nights, I have seen it all, and I am preparing your reward. This season of preparation, though challenging, hath been crucial. Like a master craftsman preparing precious metal, I have been refining you, not to harm you but to bring forth the pure gold of your character. Every pressure you've endured has been shaped by my loving hands, every trial measured by my wisdom. You are emerging stronger, wiser, more resilient, exactly as I planned. Remember the miracles I performed for my people throughout history. The Red Sea that parted, the walls of Jericho that fell, the dead that were raised to life. My power is not diminished, Laum is not shortened. What I did then, I can do now. What I promised then, I will fulfill now. You serve the same God who turned water into wine, who fed thousands with a few loaves and fish, who raised Lazarus from the dead. And I am about to do something in your life that will remind you and everyone around you that I am still in the business of miracles. The enemy meant to discourage you, but I am using even his attacks to develop your spiritual muscles. Were he intended defeat, 
I am creating testimony. Where he plotted destruction, I am designing elevation. What was meant to break you is becoming the very thing that showcases my power to deliver, to restore, to transform. I want you to understand something profound. Your breakthroughs are not just for you. The victories I am preparing, the blessings I am arranging, and the doors I am opening, they are part of a greater purpose. Through your testimony, others will find hope. Through your breakthrough, others will find faith. Through your victory, others will be inspired to believe in my faithfulness. Look up, my child. The clouds are heavy with rain. The seeds of faith you've sown are about to break through the soil. The prayers you've prayed are about to be answered in ways that will leave you speechless. The dedication you've shown is about to be rewarded beyond your expectations. This is not just another season. This is your season of divine turnaround. I am about to show you why you had to wait, why you had to endure, why you had to keep believing when everything seemed contrary to my promises. You are about to understand why I allowed certain doors to close, certain relationships to end, and certain plans to fail. What looked like setbacks were actually setups for the greatest demonstrations of my power in your life. It ready for unusual favors, unexpected opportunities, an unprecedented breakthrough. I am orchestrating divine connections, supernatural provision, and strategic partnerships that will propel you into your destiny. The wisdom you gained in the valley will serve you well on the mountaintop. The character you develop in obscurity will sustain you in prominence. You've been faithful to praise me in the storm. Now get ready to praise me in the harvest. You've been diligent to trust me in the darkness. Now prepare to trust me with abundance. You've learned to lean on me in weakness. Now learn to depend on me in strength. This next season will require a new level of faith. Not just faith to survive, but faith to thrive. Faith to expand. Faith to lead others into their own breakthroughs. Dear child, if you wish to aid our ministry in spreading the message of Jesus, Kindly consider supporting us by donating through the Buy Me A Coffee link provided in the description and pinned comment. Do not be afraid of the magnitude of what I'm about to do. The increase in bringing won't overwhelm you because I will give you the wisdom to manage it, the strength to steward it, and the character to sustain it. The platform I'm preparing won't be too big because I will equip you with everything you need to fulfill your purpose with excellence. Watch as I begin to accelerate things in your favor. Situations that seemed stuck will suddenly shift. Resources that seemed limited will suddenly multiply. Doors that seemed permanently closed will suddenly open. People who didn't notice you will suddenly seek you out. Opportunities that seemed out of reach will suddenly come within grasp. This acceleration is to prove you right but to prove my word true. It's not to elevate your name but to glorify mine. It's not just about your success but about establishing a testimony that will impact generations. When I move in your life, it will be undeniable that it was my hand, my power, and my favor that made the difference. I am calling you to a higher level of expectation. Expect greater manifestations of my power. Expect clearer demonstrations of my favor. Expect more frequent encounters with my presence. Expect faster responses to your prayers. Expect bigger opportunities to impact others. Expect stronger confirmations of my promises. The limitations others placed on you are falling away. The labels that tried to define you are losing their power. The circumstances that tried to confine you are changing. I am releasing you into a new dimension of authority influence, and effectiveness. Your voice will carry more weight. Your prayers will have greater impact. Your presence will bring transformation. My beloved child, when I say it's not over, I speak with the authority that parted the Red Sea and raised Christ from the dead. I am the Alpha and the Omega, the beginning and the end, and I declare with divine certainty that your story is far from finished. What you see as an ending, 
I see as a divine setup for your comeback. Just as I transform Joseph's pit into a palace, I am working behind the scenes of your circumstances, orchestrating a victory that will leave no doubt of my faithfulness. You are down, my child, but never forget that you carry my resurrection power within you. The same spirit that raised Jesus from the dead dwells in you. Your temporary setback is setting the stage for an eternal testimony. Remember Paul's words, inspired by my spirit. We are hard-pressed on every side, but not crushed, perplexed, but not in despair, persecuted, but not abandoned, struck down, but not destroyed. When I tell you to get up, it's not just a suggestion, it's a divine empowerment. I am infusing you with supernatural strength, the kind that enabled Elijah to outrun chariots and empower David to defeat giants. Your weakness is the perfect canvas for my strength to be displayed. When you feel you cannot take another step, lean into my promise. Those who hope in the Lord will renew their strength. They will soar on wings like eagles. They will run and not grow weary. They will walk and not be faint. Fight, not with the weapons of this world, but with the powerful spiritual armor I've given you. Your battle is already won in the heavenly realms. You are simply walking out the victory I secured. When you fight for your legacy, you are fighting from victory, not for victory. I have already declared you more than a conqueror through Christ who loves you. Your legacy isn't just about you, it's about the generations that will be blessed because you refuse to give up in this season. Your dreams, my beloved, were planted in your heart by my own hand. They are seeds of destiny, watered by my promises and nurtured by my faithfulness. When I gave you these dreams, I already made provision for their fulfillment. Don't let the temporary shadows of doubt dim the light of what I've shown you. Every dream in alignment with my will carries my guarantee of completion. Being confident of this, that he who began a good work in you will carry it on to completion until the day of Christ Jesus. The peace you are fighting for is not just any peace, it's my peace which surpasses all understanding. It's the peace that enabled Jesus to sleep in the storm and Paul to sing in prison. This peace is your inheritance, bought with the precious blood of my Son. When you fight for this peace, you are claiming what is rightfully yours. Let my peace guard your heart and mind, standing as a fortress against every assault of anxiety and fear. Listen closely, my child. Nobody, no person, no circumstance, no setback, no opposition, can thwart my plan for your life. I am the Lord, and my purpose prevails. When I make a promise, all of heaven moves to fulfill it. The enemy may scheme, but I laugh at his plans, for I have already secured your victory. Remember how they tried to stop my son with a cross and a tomb. My child, click the join button to continue your journey with our spiritual community that became the very means of humanity's salvation. What your adversaries mean for evil, I will turn for your good. My plan for your life was established before the foundation of the world. It's written in the eternal scrolls of heaven, sealed with my unchanging character. This plan isn't subject to human interference or demonic opposition. For I know the plans I have for you, declares the Lord plans to prosper you and not to harm you, plans to give you hope and a future. This was just a message for Jeremiah. It's my heart for you today. When I say trust me, I'm not asking for blind faith. Look back at your life and see my fingerprints on every deliverance, every provision, every coincidence that was actually my divine orchestration. I've never failed you and I never will. Your trust in me is a weapon that demolishes doubt and silences the enemy's lies. When you trust me, you align yourself with unlimited possibilities, for nothing is impossible with me. Remember, my beloved, that every great testimony in Scripture came through troubled waters. Moses faced the Red Sea before he saw it part. Daniel faced the lions before he witnessed their mouths shut. 
The three Hebrew children faced the fire before experiencing my presence in its midst. Your current trial is not a punishment, it's preparation for a powerful testimony. I want you to understand that your down season is not a surprise to me. I permitted it because I saw the strength it would build in you, the character it would forge, and the ministry it would birth. Just as a silversmith refines precious metal through fire, I am refining you, not to harm you, but to bring forth the pure gold of your faith, more precious to me than any earthly treasure. Your tears have not gone unnoticed. I collect them in my bottle, and each one waters the soil of your future breakthrough. Your midnight prayers have reached my throne room, and I am moving heaven and earth in response. Even when you can't see my hand, trust my heart. I am working all things together for your good, because you love me and are called according to my purpose. The enemy meant to break you, but I will use this season to make you unbreakable. The pressure you feel is not crushing you, it's creating a diamond. The resistance you face is not stopping you, it's strengthening you. The delays you experience are not denying you, they are developing you. I am the master artist, and even your darkest moments are strokes on the canvas of a masterpiece that will display my glory. Rise up with renewed courage, for you are my chosen vessel. The same power that spoke the universe into existence speaks life into your circumstances today. The same love that sent my son to the cross surrounds you in this moment. The same wisdom that designed the intricate patterns of creation is ordering your steps. The same faithfulness that has preserved my word through the ages is watching over my promises to you. Don't measure your progress by what you can see, for I am doing a work in the unseen realm that will astound you when it manifests. Your prayers are not bouncing off the ceiling, they are moving mountains in the spirit. Your faith is not in vain, it is the substance of things hoped for, the evidence of things not yet seen. If you want God's grace always upon you, then please consider to support our ministry by clicking thanks button. Your persistence is not unnoticed. It is storing up an eternal weight of glory that will far outweigh your present troubles. I am calling you to a higher perspective. Rise above the circumstances and see them through my eyes. What looks like a setback from Earth's viewpoint is often a setup from Heaven's perspective. What appears as a crisis in the natural realm is frequently a chrysalis in the spiritual realm, where I am transforming you into the image of my Son. Your destiny is not determined by your difficulties, but by my decrees over your life. I have declared you victorious, and my word will not return to me void. I have pronounced you blessed, and no curse can override my blessing. I have called you chosen and no rejection can negate my acceptance. I have named you an overcomer, and no obstacle can prevent your triumph. Let my strength arise in you as you meditate on this truth. The greater one lives in you. The same spirit that raised Christ from the dead dwells in your mortal body. You are not fighting for victory, you are fighting from victory. The battle belongs to me, and I have never lost a battle. Not once in eternal history has my purpose been thwarted, and your situation will not be the first. Take heart in knowing that your present struggle is not just about you, it's about every life that will be touched by your testimony. The enemy fights hardest when you're closest to your breakthrough. Your struggle is proof of your threat to the kingdom of darkness. If you weren't carrying something powerful, you wouldn't be experiencing such resistance. I am printing my words of life deeper into your spirit. It's not over. My promises don't have an expiration date. My power doesn't have limitations. My love doesn't have conditions. My faithfulness doesn't have exceptions. What I have spoken over your life will come to pass, for I am not a man that I should lie, nor a son of man that I should change my mind. It ready for restoration. Just as I restore Job with double for his trouble, I am preparing a restoration in your life that will cause others to marvel at my goodness. The enemy's plan to destroy you will backfire, 
resulting in your promotion. What was meant to shame you will showcase my glory through you. What was intended to disqualify you will become your qualification for greater ministry. You are my masterpiece, created in Christ Jesus for good works that I prepared in advance for you to do. Your identity is not in your performance, but in my perfection. Your security is not in your ability, but in my stability. Your victory is not in your strength, but in my sovereignty. Rest in this truth. I am not just working on your behalf. I am working in you, through you, and for you. This season of struggle is not your destination. It's your preparation. Every trial you face is developing perseverance, character, and hope. You are being equipped for a purpose greater than your present pain. If you need God's blessings, then type yes I need in the comments. The weight of your current burden is building spiritual muscles that Yao will need for carrying future blessings. Remember, my child, that darkness is not the absence of my presence. It's often the classroom where I teach my most profound lessons. In the darkness, I taught Joseph how to forgive. In the darkness, I taught David how to worship. In the darkness, I taught Paul how to be content. Your darkness is not a dead end. It's a divine appointment with deeper dimensions of my character. Let this truth anchor your soul. Your future is not controlled by your past failures or present struggles. I am the God who makes all things new. I am not limited by natural laws, human opinions, or earthly resources. When I decide to move on your behalf, nothing in heaven or earth can prevent my purpose from being accomplished. Take courage in knowing that every promise I've made is backed by my character. My word is my bond, sealed with the blood of my Son. When I promise you victory, it's guaranteed by my very nature. When I declare your breakthrough, it's secured by my faithfulness. When I speak your deliverance, it's established by my power. The enemy wanted you to stay down, but I am calling you up up to a higher level of faith, up to a deeper understanding of my love, up to a stronger conviction of my faithfulness, up to a clearer vision of my purpose, up to a fuller experience of my power. The very thing that was meant to bury you will become the platform for your elevation. Stand firm in my strength, for you are not alone in this battle. My angels are encamped around you. My spirit is within you. My favor surrounds you like a shield. My wisdom guides your steps. My peace guards your heart. My joy strengthens you. My love empowers you. My grace sustains you. My presence goes before you to make the crooked places straight. Hear me clearly. It's not over until I say it's over, and am not finished with your sore yet. The best chapters are still to be written. The greatest victories are still to be won. The highest heights are still to be reached. The deepest revelations are still to be received. The strongest faith is still to be developed. The most powerful testimony is still to be shared. Rise up, my warrior. The battle is not yours, but mine. Your assignment is simply to stand in faith clothed in my righteousness, armed with my word, sustained by my spirit, covered by my blood, and convinced of my love. Victory is not a possibility. It's an inevitability when I am on your side. Amen.